Hello, this is Dr. Suresh Agarwal bringing you another amazing trick in which we will find a unique pattern when we square numbers from 21 to 29. You will be really amazed to see this pattern and for this we need to know how do we square numbers containing two digits. Now let me take just one minute to demonstrate how we can find the square of any two digit number orally first. Say we have 13. I am taking a very simple example just to illustrate how we can find the square of 13. We all know that it is 169 but how do we get that result without multiplying 13 and 13. See 3. 3 square is 9. No carries, it is not a two digit number so 9 is to be retained as it is. Now the two digits 1 and 3 just multiply. 1 into 3 is 3, double the product, double of 3 is 6, single digit number, retain it as it is, finally 1, 1 square is 1, so 169, as easy as that. You can find the square of any two digit number using this very very simple method. Let us take one more example, say we have 24. 4 square is 16, for 16 we retain 6, now remember 1 is carried forward. The product of the two numbers 4 into 2 is 8, double the product 16, carry 1, 17. So now we have 17, so retain 7, again carry 1, finally 2. 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So 576 is the square of 24. One final example, then we will get on with this squaring 21, squaring 22 and up to 29. So we have square of 53. Now 3 square is 9, single digit, retain it. 5 3 is a 15. Double of 15 is 30. So in case of 30, we retain 0. Carry forward 3. Remember 3 is carried forward. 5. Now 5 square is 25. Plus 3 carry 28. So we have 2809 as the square of 53. Likewise, you can carry on and enjoy this method and square all numbers from 11 to 99. Now let us generalize this result to some unique squares 21 square, 22 square, 23 square, 24 square, 25 square, 26 square, 27 square, 28 square and 29 square. Now among these 9 numbers 25 square exists in the middle. We have 4 numbers here and 4 numbers below 25. If we can square the first four, then the last four are self-explanatory if you know a particular pattern, very exciting pattern. Now let us square this. Use this method which I just told you. 1 square is 1, 2 into 1, 2, double of 2 is 4, 2 square is 4, 2 square is 4, 2 into 2, 4, double of 4 is 8, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 3 to the 6, double of 6 is 12, 1 carry, 2 square is 4 plus 1 5, 4 square is 16, 1 carry, 4 to the 8, double 16 plus 1 17, 1 carry, 2 square is 4 plus 1 5. For this, you have a unique method again, all numbers ending with 5, just multiply this number 2 with its successor, 2 into 3 is 6 and put 25, that's all. So we have the squares of the top 4 and the middle one. Now the most important thing which is coming up, from numbers 21 to 29, there is a symmetry of squares 
when we write 21 square then we can write 29 square when we write 22 square then we can write 28 square when we can write 23 square we can easily write 27 square and when we can write 24 square we can easily write 26 square so there is a symmetry first and last second and second last third and third last and so on and what is that symmetry in the middle these numbers will obviously increase from here to here there is an increase of 100 so plus 100 from 529 to the square of 27 there is an increase of 200 from 22 to 28 there is an increase of 300 and from 21 to 29 there is an increase of 400 so we can now find these squares orally 576 plus 100 676 529 plus 200 729 484 plus 300 784 and finally we have 441 plus 400 841 Mathematics is full of such patterns. If you observe carefully, if you are a lover of numbers, then so many patterns can be found out in which you will derive satisfaction and a joy to learn. Teachers, my appeal to you, observe these patterns, make a note in the diary and whenever you get time, tell students about these interesting patterns so that they can develop interest in mathematics and ultimately study mathematics to the highest level. So keep enjoying, keep sharing the video and subscribe the channel if you like it.